What up? It's your girl Mad, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am a full time reseller, and I make my money by going to the thrift stores, mostly the Goodwill outlet bins, and picking up items that I can resell online via eBay, Mercari, or Poshmark. And this is what I picked up yesterday at the Goodwill outlet for $48. I am stoked. This is less than $50, and I can't wait to show you what I got. I'm going to show you some of the basic shit that I picked up because these are just little basic necessities that I found yesterday. As I go through this video, I usually show you the comps on what I think or what I can find these for on eBay. I picked up all of this per pound. So most of this costs less than a less than $2. It's $1.99 per pound. So most of this stuff probably costs a dollar or less, more or less. Dollar, more or less. Okay, so first things first kendra found a little hard drive this is originally like 60 dollars or something she found on ebay so so these are actually just some foam paint brushes i'm a crafty queen if you haven't seen my other videos make sure you do so i can teach you how to dye your clothes bleach wash your shirts make a balloon garland i don't know i show you random shit on here so make sure you subscribe also found this really cool waist belt i'll show you this in a second and this cute little baby disney shirt it is for three to six months this was 20 dollars at sears i just picked it up I showed you the disk drive. This is $60 on eBay, so I don't know. I'm always looking for a disk drive. Might keep this, might sell it for a, it's a 128 GB, so money is the motive, honey. And then I picked up these books. Books at the Goodwill Outlet are 75 cents. And if you don't shop the Goodwill Outlet books, I just, I'm, I'm a little surprised because we have found some seriously good books, including a Prince book that retails for over $1,000. I have not sold it yet. However, I have a lot of watchers on it. And I have gotten some offers. I just haven't gotten the right number. But it is a like literally a limited edition Prince book. Check it out. Anyway, I pick up books at the Goodwill Outlet. I love to read and they're 75 cents. Books are pretty expensive. I do like to support the publishers. But your girl, I can't be, I can't. I saved the books from going to the landfill. So I picked up a book about the Holocaust, Salt in the Sea. If you've ever read any of these, let me know because I'm going to start reading these. The Lovely Bones, this is like from a long time ago, a while, probably over 10 years ago, but I never read it, so I picked it up. And this is Crystals for Beginners because I'm a witch. I'm not really a witch, but I can be a witch. Anywho, also found this cute little belt. You know, you just wrap it around like this, and then you just clip it. Yes, these are back in style. They are. Let's get started with the clothes, okay? So most of the stuff I picked up, I don't look up too much of the comps, especially on some of these, but this is just a cute little North Face kids like snowsuit. I do pick up Victoria's Secret bras. I feel like they do sell. They have to be in pretty good condition. The wires can't be popping out. One of them was this one. It's just a cute little Victoria's Secret bombshell. The push-up bras do sell, so you can still make a $15 profit on one of these. If you're getting new into reselling, these are good things to get your sales up. I say this like every video. This is also another Victoria's Secret. I just thought this would be a good one. I actually haven't sold any of those, but I'm going to try these. Okay, we're starting with these Forever 21 cute little high-waisted. I did hang everything up today, by the way, because I usually go through my bags. But last night when I got all this stuff yesterday, I just am like the queen of organizing and getting my stuff together. So I had to hang everything up how I list. So this is a cute little... Pair of Forever 21 denim shorts. By the way, if you are interested in how I list or maybe how I ship, let me know in the comments because I'd love to share. If you are interested, are you guys interested? Are you like, yeah, Madison? Yeah, Mad, show me. These are the nice, are nice laundry. These are like a men's lounge short, but I thought the print was really cool. They look mesh and they're short. Short shorts are in for guys. They love that. These are free people denim. I did sell a pair like this. I think I made like 20 bucks off Poshmark. Um, they're a stretchy, super cute, free people pair of jeans. BDG, this is Urban Outfitters. These are um, just stripes. I think these prints, this print is still in. A lot of people are still wearing the Y2K style, that 90s grunge. And people are looking for different things. I love different style pants. These are a size 28. I don't know if they'd fit me, but I might try them. Ooh, let me save these babies to the end because this is probably my most, this is my bigger profit for the day. I picked up another pair of free people. This is actually a skirt, but it has stains. Um, Kendra's going to try to get these out. OxyClean is amazing. I'll link that actually down below. If you've never tried OxyClean, buy it, try it. It gets all your stains out. It'll literally turn your yellow things back to white. 
Also, my family is from Maine. Kendra's family, ironically, is also from Maine. And then we found this New England towel. It's just a tea towel. I love tea towels. I buy these all the times at the at the bins. Like I do, I never buy dish towels brand new. I buy them at the bins if they're in good condition. Okay, Nike. These are just a pair of like activewear leggings. They felt nice. They're in good condition. Nike is one of my sellers. Thought these were cute. I also see a lot of people on eBay. Not eBay. I see a lot of people on Instagram talking about how J Crew doesn't sell for them, but I do sell J Crew pretty well. Banana Republic. Those are a lot of the the brands that sell pretty quick once I list them. I don't make a ton of money, but how cute are these little tassels at the bottom? Perfect for spring. I, they're so, I think they're cute. This is also a really pretty vintage skirt. Cute little A-line. This, um, the brand was Charles Gluck, New York. I have no idea, honestly. I pick a vintage. I do not, I do not question my thought process on the vintage. If it's paper pound, I buy it. Athleta sports bra, cute little white sports bra. I'll probably make 10 or $15 on that. Denim and Flower by Ricky Singh. Uh, people tend to like this. I sell this pretty well when I do have it. It's not a super high profit, but once again, it was cheap. I need to wash this for my brother. Found this cheap champion shirt. My brother came with me to the bins yesterday, and he found, like, I don't think he found anything for me, but he definitely was around trying to help, and I was super appreciative of that. Between me, Kendra, and Andrew at the bins, there's three of us, so it gives us a little more wiggle room to, like, find things. You know, you have extra hands in the bins. This is a weekend t-shirt, The weekend. We love The weekend. I left my girl back home. She don't love me no more. I don't think those are the right lyrics, but anyway. Um, we love The weekend. That's not going to fit us, so that'll get listed. Psycho Bunny, this is a pretty expensive brand. However, some of these shirts go for probably between like 15 and 30. Anything that has to do with God, church, buy it. Jesus is the answer, so they say. And this is... An embroidered shirt. This is just like gas, in my opinion, as the boys would say when I used to get on whatnot. Gas. This is gas. I sell Jesus t-shirts. Awesome Blossom. Don't ask. Don't know why, but they do. Chucky. Don't know. Didn't look it up. I love to sell t-shirts. They're easy. My goal is usually to try to get a $10 profit on the t-shirts. They take me five minutes to list. It's it's easy. Found a, cute, a couple of cute Disney things, including this little a cute little Moana bathing suit. Is that Moana? Yeah, Moana. And then I think this might have been the other same. They must have really liked Moana. It's interesting because they found these pretty much like two separate times. A uh, cute little Disney dress. Pretty little things. I thought this was a better brand, and then I did some research, and I realized it's not really that great, but this is a cute little duster. The string is like pulled all the way over to the side, so I am going to have to bring it all the way back, but this is... It kind of looks like a yellow rain jacket, actually, now that I'm looking at it. Okay, these next two dresses, I'm hoping to make a, like, $20 to $30. This is another J. Crew super cute little ruffle tear dress. Natural Life, um, I shared this a few weeks ago in one of my videos. I actually found, like, a, a car visor. This is a Natural Life dress. I saw these running on eBay for $33, so. Super cute, floral, love it. Boho, Cottage Cory, I don't know. Express bodysuit, this feels amazing. I don't know why, but the Express gods have been dropping all the bodysuits on me. I have found bodysuits at every single one, and I just sold one. I just sold it for $10 on eBay, but I wasn't stoked about that sale. But you know what? I've got a lot of inventory. Clear out, accept the offers, make your money, honey. I paid probably $0.40 cents for the bodysuit that I sold. Are you guys interested in what I sold, by the way? Like, you want to see like a video on what things I sold in the month of May? Maybe I'll do that starting for the month of June. If you're interested, just drop it in the comments. Also, this is Abercrombie and Fitch. Cute little embroidered lace tank top. So cute. New with tags. This is from Macy's. This is actually Silent Company. Plus size. I sell you all the time. I sell plus size pretty well. It moves pretty quickly. And I found some other plus size things, so I'm pretty excited about that. This is Nasty Gal. Um, this is another brand that I truly love, but it also doesn't sell well for me. It sits. I almost didn't want to buy this, but it wasn't super heavy. It is really cute. I could always wear this and keep this if I wanted it. It's actually a size small, so maybe I wouldn't. But I love Nasty Gal. Anybody else? Torrid, guys. Plus size brands you need to be on the lookout for. Torrid. I always sell Torrid, and it sells within a month for me usually. I don't have a lot of it left. This is just a pretty 
the fours, they run by like one, two, that means how many X's they are. And this is just a 4XL. I love Torrid, I sell it great. It's one of those. Okay, this is an interesting set. It's called Soul Boy. I don't know. It looks like a Miami Underground brand from what I looked up, but I actually found the whole set in the bins. And if you've ever been to the bins, like multiple bins, multiple things, like nothing is together. So that was like a miracle. LL Bean. And this is just a cute little floor, uh, flannel um, slim fit. I saw these running between $15 and $30 on eBay. I found some men's page jeans. Another thing, I don't really love to pick up jeans because they, they're slow. But men, men's plus size, those are the two categories that I feel kind of move pretty rapidly if you're buying the correct brands. Paige, this brand, um, I looked up the comps before I purchased these, and I did see them running for $29 to $49 pre-owned. So we're going for it. The last two pairs of pants are some of my favorites, so hang tight and I'll show you. <laughs> these are... Uh, this is just a poison band tee. Gonna wash this and keep it. Add this to our collection. Kendra and I have been on a band tee slash. I literally just live in t-shirts more or less. So t-shirts, band tees, that's all we've been wearing. And then this, this isn't part of anything. Okay, so you have to, I have to show you these pants. And they actually fit me, but they're not flattering on me because I'm built like the Grinch. But these are so cute. The, this style is why I bought them. The brand is definitely early 2000s. It's fashion bug. Um, and these are a flared, a flared pair of like stretch pants. They have like a giraffe print kind of, but I love these and they're probably close to like a size 30. Pretty excited because it's hard to find a lot of these things in bigger sizes. So I thought these were great. I would love to keep these. They just were not flattering on me. I've never bought anything fashion bug when I was growing up. Drop an amen if you know what I'm talking about. And then this is Spanx. Spanx! This is like dropped in from the heavens above. Oh, I love Spanx. Spanx is super expensive. It's a women's tummy control pants. This is the logo, the, the tag. It's like a red tag. And they're, they're made to be slimming. Now, not only that, but these are like a straight leg slash flare. Look at that. These are a flare, baby. Flare is here. Flare is in. That is my haul, everybody. This was a small one. This was cute. But I'm really excited about the Sphinx pants. Is there anything in here that you thought was awesome that you loved? I think the two pairs of pants at the end. I always try to save the, la the last things that I love for the end. But anywho, if you've been looking to get into reselling or maybe you need to get started, check out my other videos because I post these pretty much bi-weekly. I am a full-time reseller. This is how I make my money. I pay my mortgage and live my life. You can do this too. Oh, I'm still wearing this belt. You can do this too. Don't be afraid to get out there, spend a few dollars to flip something. And if you know what, like I do, I go to the Goodwill outlet. It's pay per pound. So I'm getting most of these items for less than $2. You sell five a day. That's $100 a day. Thanks for joining. Don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the bell, and do all the things. It's your girl, Mad. Peace out.